Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Moon Outdoors. Today I'm trying something that I have never done before, uh, which is crab snaring. Uh, using a snare like this and using a surf rod, anywhere between 10 foot to 12 foot surf rod, and, uh, and a big size reel. Okay, this is a 6500 uh, reel. So, like I said, I have no experience at this. I have no clue what to do. So my buddy is going to help me out and show me how crap snaring is done. All right, we got Carlos. Hello. AKA the Minion. That's me. <laughs> AKA the Crab King. Oh, last year's Crab King. Or current year's Crab King. Yeah, current Crab King. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Carlos has been uh, snaring for a long time. He's a uh, pretty expert at this. And uh, he actually makes this himself. Um, he's got a video on TLA's channel. I'll leave that video link in the description. If you guys are interested in learning how to make the crab snare, yes. that will cost about four or five dollars compared to spending 20, 25 dollars on a store-bought one. Yeah. So, so can you explain the crab snare for me, Carlos? Uh, sure. So basically, a crab snare is a cage with some loops. The maximum loops you can allow is six of them in California. So the whole idea is um, you put the bait in here, preferably squid or fish, and you put the weight at the end, and you attach this to your, your rod, your, your leader. So when you put the bait in here, you cast it, uh, you leave it in the ocean, um, and let the crab come to the cage. Once they get to the cage, then you can feel the weight on, on the, the crab on the cage. Once you feel that weight, then you pull it, and then the crab uh, claws or legs will get tangled, and then you pull it in. So that's the whole concept of crab snare. So how long do you wait until you check? Uh, most people wait five to 10 minutes, but generally I even gun and check it like two minutes later, because you might be real close to where the crab is. So for most beginner, five to 10 minutes is good. But once you get a little more experience, you could just feel it by the weight of the crab on the snare. Okay. Once you feel that, it could be two minutes later, it could be five minutes later. Once you feel that, uh, then you just pull it. So you're basically generally pulling on the rod to see if there's a weight. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So and also when you have your rod, make sure your your reel uh, drag is really really tight because there's a lot of torque when you kind of bring the snare. Uh, you don't want to be like fishing where it goes in and out. Uh, the whole concept is to bring the crab in, you know, with this tangled in in the legs. If you have some dra uh, loose line here or loose, loose drag, it, this is going to open up and it's going to get out. So you want to make sure that he's really tight and you just pull him in. Okay. Yeah. So what, what size uh, fishing rod do you recommend? Uh, for most beginner, uh, 10 foot. Uh, but if you could handle 12 foot, it's good because you could cast a little further. The reel, I would say, either 6,000 or 8,000 reel. Don't get those small little ones. Um, what I would get when you get a rod, get something that's comfortable in your hand. Don't get something that is really, really thick because it's going to get you tired. You're going to be casting for like 30, 40 times in one session. So you don't want to get something that's really thick and, you know, it's bulky. You want something slim uh, that you can handle pretty well. Okay. How many rods can you use on the beach? Oh, for okay, for the regulation, if you have a fishing license, there's no limit to how many rods you can use on the beach. So you can use the 100 rods? Yeah, but most people also only handle like two the most. Uh, but if you're on the pier, you don't need a fishing license. And for that one, you're limited to two rods on the pier. But on the beach, you know, you might see some people like four or five, but that's way too many. And there's some people that just use one and feel the crab on their stairs. So we're gonna put one delicious looking squid in here. Yeah. All of said one is enough right there. Yeah. And then uh, you tie it, you use the thing and you tie it right there. Okay. And then we put the weight over here in the back of it. So we're gonna put a weight. Uh, what size weight is good? Uh, it depends on the current and the swell. Uh, right now that's a seven ounce, so that's too big. That's too big. Okay. Yeah. So we wanna start off with like four, five, five, six ounces. Okay. Uh, if your snare is moving a lot, then you might want to switch to a heavier weight. Gotcha. Yeah. But also, keep in mind that if you have a heavier weight, if you're a beginner, you might not be able to handle that. 
So you gotta, you know, make sure that you can handle, you know, the weight that you're casting. Okay, it's so harder to cast. Yeah. The pure weight. Yeah. Got it. And then we're gonna clip this to the uh, end of the line. End of the line right there. All right. Yeah. So this is ready to be cast. Uh, one other thing that I usually do when I'm snaring, I wear a finger protection. Uh, because basically, when you casting braided line, you want to make sure that you don't you don't cut yourself. So you just put it like this, and this is ready to be cast. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So we're ready to do our first cast. The first thing I would do is uh, make sure your line, when you reel it in, is very smooth. If you have some tangle, you gotta make sure you go over here and fix this and tangling right here. Because if you don't do that, when you cast your snare, it's gonna snap on you and it's gonna, you know, you're basically gonna lose the snare. So the way to check that is you could look at that, or if you notice when you reel it in, it's very smooth, that means there's no tangle on the top. Usually when I'm casting, I set the bail on this side, I put my finger right here, and then I pull the bail on the other side. Okay, so, away from you. Okay. Yeah, away from you. Some people do it this way, but I notice when you do it this way, the bail will close on you sometimes when you're casting. We just go like this, and then we walk. One thing I recommend is people to have waiter or some kind of boot because you have to get in the water. Oh, they got one. I'm not really trying to cast distance. I'm trying to find like a pocket of where to cast it to. See, if you see right now, that area right there looks like a sandbar because it's kind of flat. So I'm trying to cast it beyond that. To, there's a little pocket where there's a hole in there. So you don't want to cast in the sandbar because the crab usually don't walk into the sandbar. They're usually stuck on the like a little pocket. So you see where the surfer is, the chest fell down, just in front of him. You know, um, I'm trying to cast it right there. Especially in Ocean Beach, there's a lot of surfers, so you gotta make sure you don't hit the surfer. Uh, so right now I can reach that guy. So I'm gonna cast it a little bit shorter before reaching the, the surfer. Right over there. Yeah, because I didn't want to hit the surfer. Now, once you cast it, you kind of lift the bail open and just walk back to your rod holder. So, you go back to your rod holder. One thing you should also be checking if your snare is moving. So right now, the snare is moving a little bit. If you could tell by it's moving by looking at the line. If you notice my line is moving mm -hmm. just a little bit. So, four ounces might be just right. Yeah, if, if it's moving a lot, then you have to switch over to six or eight, eight ounces. So we're going back, back, back. <laughs> okay. And then you put your rod in your rod holder and you tighten your drag. I mean, you tighten your line. So actually, this is pretty good. It's not moving too much. So I keep an eye on it. Uh, so the whole idea when you're snaring, you want to put the snare in a spot where it doesn't move that much so the crab will go get it so right now i'm very happy with the spot so hopefully we'll get one pretty soon all right yeah you guys can tell how serious carlos is when it comes to snaring he's got a cart with the beach wheel so he can carry multiple buckets fishing rod fishing rod holders bait and etc and my buddy june has got this pretty much same setup this is a custom made from a uh, hobi wheels Hobby car, and uh, he made himself a uh, beach car. <laughs> what are you doing, Carlos? Uh, I'm checking my line. I only casted it for like three or four minutes, but I'm checking my line. If I feel some weight on the snare, there's, there's a crap there. So there's no need to wait five to ten minutes. But right now, when I'm moving it, there's no weight. You know, so no there's crap. no crap on it. Okay. So you just put it back. You don't need to be, you know, bring it in and recast it. You just you can tell by the weight. Anything? There's some weight to it, but it could also be the sandbar. If there is one, it's very small. I think there's something in it. Yeah, we have a little crap in there. Notice? We got something. We got a small little one. We got something. Yeah. Right there, you got snare right there. Right there. We got a female one. Female juvenile. Yeah. yeah, so this is small, so we're gonna throw it back in. Yeah, but this is how you snare. All right. Yeah. Hopefully, we get some keepers. You got something? Yeah, it feels small though. Oh, it's 
there might be a keeper. Yeah. Is it small? Yeah, it's like close. Yeah, he's probably five yeah. and a quarter. Yeah. There you go. Another crap, but short. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just very short. Oh, barely. Wow. Just barely. Oh, man, that was close. <laughs> you feel it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big one. It's a jumbo Hopefully. or seaweed. <laughs> this rod bends a lot, though, so it's tricky. Okay, okay. But this, I, this one feels like a keeper to me. Ah, I can see it. I can see it. Oh, you came in like that. That's why it feels heavy. Like All right. So, maybe, close. maybe, maybe. That's borderline. Oh, I think so. I think so. I think this is bigger than the other one. Yeah, it's, oh, it's it is. Too. Yeah, it's, this is a keeper. Uh, let's measure. Keeper. Yeah, yeah! Just at six. Yeah, six. Nice. We got a force keeper here. Yay. Yay. Lose good luck. Thank you, June, <laughs> for avoiding, avoiding the skunk. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for the crab. <laughs> Go get a move. Mo, do you feel the weight? No, I can't tell. Okay, start reeling in fast. Oh, you have one? Mo, keep on going. Don't stop reeling. Oh, another oh, one. I got a tiny one. A tiny one. No, 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 my first crab. <laughs> my first snail crab. Yeah. My first snail crab right here. Oh my God, look it's how big that is. It's a whole inch and a half. <laughs> look at that, inch and a half. Oh man. June got a big one. Big one. Six and, that? six and a quarter? No. This is bigger. Different gauge. Oh, yeah, yeah, like six and a half almost. Like right here. Yeah, six, six and a half. half. Yes. Yeah. What do we got? We got a little guy? Yeah, a small female. We got a little guy. Oh, I should say little girl. <laughs> I see something. Short? Oh, it's so okay. short. Short female. Oh. There's something. Oh, maybe. 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 Let's bring. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Definitely. Maybe. maybe. Male. Male. Oh. Male. So just measured it. It's like a one credit card thickness short. Oh. So. oh there is something on it. Two. One. 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 On the side. One. one. Oh, keeper! Oh my maybe, God, keeper. maybe keeper! Oh, maybe yes. keeper! Maybe borderline, borderline, borderline. No, no, no! That's a keeper move. All right, take a look. Yep, yep. It's a uh, six. I told you it's a six. It's more than a six. Yeah, a little more than the six. Yeah, because right, this is a five and two quarter right there. Yeah, a little more bigger than six. Oh, you feel it? Yep. Okay, yep. keep going, move. You feel it? Bigger than the last one? This is the uh, heaviest one. Heaviest one? Yeah. Good. Oh no! Keep on going, move. It might be upside down. Oh yeah, it's still there. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it's upside down, so don't stop. Heaviest one. All right. So far. Oh, it's look! Heaviest very, one. Very big move. No, it's a little guy. No, no, no it's no. a keeper. It's a keeper. It's Close keeper. to it. It's a keeper. Oh, it's, a keeper. it's a keeper. Mo! It's a keeper. I think this is a keeper. My oh. first keeper snaring. Yeah. Let's go measure. Okay. All right. Okay, move. Drum roll. Oh, do, 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 do. oh my oh, God. Six. Six and, six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. And a quarter. Yep. yep. Yeah. All right, move. All right, we are back. We had a good time. We spent like three hours yeah. snaring, right? Three hours snaring. So it was a little slow today because yeah. when he was out there yesterday, how many did you catch? I got 10 keepers. He got 10 keepers and while getting 10 keepers, he only got five shorts. Yeah. But today it was like 
20 shorts and two keepers? Yeah, yeah. More, yeah. more than 20 shorts? More, more than 20 shorts. And a lot then, of females, and, too. And then we got two keepers. Yeah. Our buddy June was able to get like five or six, I think. Yes. But it was still fun because I learned how to get, not get, I learned how to snare now. Yeah. Uh, I know how what what it feels like you know having a crab on the snare yeah now yeah you so, have the power now <laughs> yeah so it's really fun you might see me snaring a little bit more um in the future yeah come anytime you know? right yeah <laughs> so the minion the crab king um also makes this gaff yeah so if you watch my videos all the fish i gaff is made is gaffed by his gaff yeah this year he made some um improvement so this is version two yes uh really nice stronger um sharper he is uh experiment experimenting with the different hook right different hooks so uh, stainless steel hooks and the angle of the hooks is a little more outward yeah so we're experimenting and Moo is going to be my first tester yes i'm going to be uh, testing this out look yeah. at this beautiful rainbow gap yes so after he finished building this yes. uh, I'm going to be testing I'm going to do a field test I'm yes. going to abuse it I'm going to do everything I can to break it yes you're going to clobber <laughs> and hide it a few times too yeah. so uh, yeah. we'll see if you guys are interested in purchasing a gaff or if you need a gaff hit him up Carlos I'll leave his uh, Instagram down in the description yes so thank you. Carlos thank okay. you very much for taking thank me you, out yeah, and it was showing fun. me how to Snare yeah. for crab. It was fun seeing you snare, you know, actually snare one. <laughs> and it was so excited too. Yeah. Right. yeah. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.